Welcome to another Teched Up Teardown. In today's episode, we will be breaking down the all new MacBook Air 15 inch 2023 M2, model 2941 in midnight blue. All of the parts and tools shown in the video can be found at our website, techdep.com, your center for all things tech. Now let's dive into this intriguing device. Starting with the bottom case, you can already see the differences compared to the non-M models. Unfastening these four penelope screws along the perimeter of the unit will free the bottom of the case. Underneath the bottom of the case, there is a new retention system, and it's quite strong. To release the bottom case, we recommend using a suction cup to help persuade it loose. Start at the bottom, near the trackpad, and pull up on the magnets until they release the bottom case. Repeat this process all the way around the sides of the unit, but not at the bottom near the LCD and hinges. Near the LCD are four retention points. To free the bottom case from these, you must pull the case towards the trackpad, away from the LCD, and then it will slide off. Now that we're inside the unit, let's start by disconnecting the trackpad flex cable from the motherboard. Lift up the tape covering the screws on both sides, then use a T3 screwdriver. Unfasten the screws on both sides of the retention bar holding the flex cable in, and then remove the tension bar. You can then safely unplug and move the long trackpad cable out of the way to have better access to the rest of the unit. This cable will not be completely removed until the trackpad is removed as well. We will repeat the same process, but this time we will be unplugging the battery connector from the main board on the other side. To prepare the main board for removal, we will unfasten these screws holding the unit in. With the T3 screwdriver, remove these screws, then with the T5 screwdriver, remove these screws. A magnet may be required to take these screws out of their homes, just like we had to do so here. Using a T3 screwdriver again, let's unfasten and remove these screws and respective retention bars holding in various connectors to the main board. Now using a pry, disconnect and lift the ribbon cables away from their connection points. The Wi-Fi antennas are really hard to get to and may require a pair of tweezers in order to get disconnected. Take your time with whatever tool of your choice and make sure you don't damage them. The MagSafe 3 connector is held in by two T5 screws. The two Type-C connectors are held in by two T3 screws each.
and the three and a half millimeter aux port is held in by two T3 screws as well. Now we remove the four bottom case retention screws at the top of the unit as they are holding in the Wi-Fi assembly. To remove the hinge covers, unfasten two T3 screws on either side of the unit. The hinge covers must be pulled away from the LCD or towards the trackpad and up to be removed as they are set inside of the top case edges. Note that under the hinge covers are two additional T5 screws holding in both sets of speakers. These will have to be unfastened as well. After the hinge covers are removed, we will move on to the hinge screws. Using a T8 Torx head, unfasten these four screws on both sides of the unit. Located at the middle top of the unit is the LCD connection points. All four of the black and silver screws will be removed with a T3 screwdriver. Gently lift the speakers out of the unit. If they do not come out, double check that the speaker wires are disconnected as well as the screws holding them in. Repeat the same steps for the Wi-Fi assembly at the top of the unit. On the main board located on the left hand side is a T3 screw that will also need to be removed, as well as the panel holding it in. Under this panel is a daughter board connector. Disconnect it from the main board for removal. Revealed after removing the speakers are two T5 screws holding in the motherboard. Peel away this cover on the LCD connector to expose two more T3 screws. After removing these, you can unfasten the retention bar. Unplug the three connections found below. Lifting up the tape cover on the left hand side of the main board will reveal yet another connection point. Unfasten the T3 screw, dislodge the cover, then disconnect the aux board ribbon cable from the main board.
The main board is now being held in only by the glue that runs under the ribbon cables running to the connections on the right side of the unit. Use a pry to carefully lift the cables off of the case and out of the port slots on the side of the case. Don't forget to free the sensor cable that is glued down to the case right below the bottom type C connector as well. The aux board is glued into the top case as well. This will take some patience and persuasion to carefully dislodge the assembly from its top case. Let's disconnect all the connections to the daughter board, the battery cable, the keyboard backlighting, the touch ID sensor which is held in with a T3 screw and retention bar. The daughter board can now be removed by unfastening a T5 screw and also breaking the glue loose underneath. A T3 screwdriver is needed to remove the remaining four screws holding the touch ID sensor in place. Now remove these 18 T5 screws that hold the trackpad in place. Don't forget the center two on both sides that have a tape cover over them. Does your MacBook have a high cycle battery or bad battery life? Then techdep.com is a place for you. Browse our extensive part and tool catalog and find the solution to your problems today. To remove the trackpad, lift the top case up and untangle the cable from the case. To remove the trackpad flex cable from the trackpad, lift up on the retention bar and gently pull the cable out. Note that there is a small amount of glue holding the cable in place so this may take a small bit of force. Lastly, to separate the top case and LCD, 
open up the unit until the hinges are free from the bottom case. You can then lift the top case out and away from the LCD. The very last step is to remove the Touch ID sensor from the top case. Be very careful to not damage the brittle flex cable that is running off of the sensor. And just like that, we have completely torn down the new M2 MacBook Air 15 inch 2023 model 2941. Leave your questions, comments, and feedback in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. We hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next Tech Depth Teardown video.